Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby, Hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrum and I'm dangerous. I'll take anybody down. I'm the Hopscotch master. I got fly skills, Hopscotch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of see your point, but, you know, you'd be a little cranky, too, if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce. Here, let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone stale? Has the spark gone out of your love life? Looking to add a little adventure to the menagerie of monogamy? Hello, I am Fernando Martinez, founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. We understand how two kids in a mortgage can take the passion out of your life. With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance guaranteed. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going still even before my wife's car accident. Then I call New Beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the turnpike. See? The passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. <laughs> Gee Willikers, it's a puppy. Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. <laughs> And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example of manners in this city. People are rude, and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up an exercise bar because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay, and the lady's like, a dollar twenty-five, please. So I get out my checkbook, and the guy behind me is like, oh, come on, lady, you don't have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last two dollars last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walk to the Cure t-shirt? People are so inconsiderate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A- another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guys, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me honking and flashing your lights. Then he gets over this megaphone and says to the woman in the teal my Batsu monstrosity, please move to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged into their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my nanny to teach my kids some manners. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because Freddy needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nannies. Let's go to our next caller. All right. Colonel James T., United States Marine Corps, 2nd Battalion. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that would whip them into shape. Let me guess. The, the military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and it gives you a good pension. Would be a better country. i tell you another thing about respect. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australian-American War, I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors saying thanks for fighting for our freedom, James. After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here. 